Trinidad and Tobago's royal visitor, the Asante Hene Otunfo Osei Tutu II of Ghana, visited one of this country's heritage sites whose story intertwines with that of Ghana and the Ashanti people. This is the third day of the royal visit. It is from Africa that mankind developed into Asia and everywhere else. And therefore we should feel proud that as blacks, my son built this house, designed this one, and therefore I stand here with pride and I come back, to, I come to Trinidad. The Asante Hene Otumfo Osei Tutu II as he stood under the eaves of a signal station designed by a prince of the Ashanti people. That Victorian style structure served both the port and the army in the days when the strategic positioning of forts such as these was essential to the defense of the territory. And for me now as the occupant of the Gordons to stand in here to look at this edifice and say that and proudly say that my son designed and built it. During the Asantehene's visit to Fort George, the consensus was that the site remains a symbol of the shared history between Trinidad and Tobago and Ghana. One Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts said continues to attract attention. Travelers in search of authentic cultural encounters find solace within the walls of Fort George as they learn about the astonishing tale of Prince Kofi Enti, a man whose journey from West Africa to our shores left an indelible mark on our collective identity. This fort serves as a, as a living testament to the unity of our past and the richness of our shared heritage. Let us join hands in celebrating the tapestry of our history, embracing our cultural diversity and welcoming all comers to experience the magnificence of Fort George and the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago. The visit to Fort George on Wednesday morning was just one of the many stops the Asante Haney is scheduled to visit before his departure from TNT on Saturday. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TDT News.